Hey everybody, welcome back, and today's going to be a little bit of a different video because today we're going to talk about how I get my screen to look like this. A lot of people ask me what launcher I use, have asked me how do I set up that launcher, and today's going to be a quick tutorial about how I get everything you see on your screen now. So let's get right into it. Please remember, if you like this video, hit the like button down below and subscribe for more things like this, and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Google Play Store. So just go ahead and open that up. We are going to search for Nova Launcher and put that in. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do so. But here you go right there. You're going to download Nova Launcher. And I always recommend getting Nova Launcher Prime. It gives you additional options and it's not that much money. And honestly, I bought it so many years ago and I highly recommend it. Okay, so once you have that downloaded, I'm using this on an S24 Ultra, by the way, but if you're using any kind of Android phone, it's gonna be pretty similar. You're gonna go ahead and go to your settings, go to your apps, once I find it, and then go to your default apps, and then you're gonna go to your home app, and you're gonna choose your launcher. So I'm switching from my One UI, I'm gonna switch over to Nova Launcher. Okay, so when you get it freshly installed, this is what it's going to look like. Um, and just to keep in mind, I am running the beta version of Nova Launcher, but it will be very similar. So let's go ahead and go through the steps. And if you have any questions, don't forget to put your comments down below and I will definitely help you out. So let's go ahead and hit get started. So for this, let's keep it the same for now, but instead of default icon shape, I am going to choose round. So let's select that and go ahead and hit next. Let's keep the section default for now and hit the next arrow. We are going to come back to this though a little bit later. Now for this page, it is going to give you a few options for the app drawer style. You can do vertical, you can do list, you can do horizontal. I still think vertical is always the way to go. So that is the way it is by default. And let's go ahead and keep everything else the same and hit next. Okay, so that's really it. We're going to dig way more into this, but at least for now, let's go ahead and hit go home. Okay, so your screen might look slightly different, but it is gonna look pretty similar to this. If you wanna to get to your settings, I always do a long press on the home screen and go to settings, and that will open up your Nova launcher settings. And this is where we're gonna spend most of our time during this video. But for now, let's go ahead and go to the home screen because I wanna edit the first thing that bugs me the most, and that is this search bar. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Do a long press on the widget there, do widget settings and we're gonna to come to this set of settings right here. I like my placement below the dock, but you can change it to where it's just a moving and floating widget. You can have it above the icons, but I like it below, kind of like the Google Pixel stock launcher. That's kind of the look I'm always looking to get to. So if you look over here at my Google Pixel, that's really what I aim to get, but it's always gonna be a little bit different because it's Nova launcher, but there you go. So let's go back over here. Now for the color, I don't feel like this color is similar to the stock pixel launcher. So let's go ahead and go to colors right here. Let's hit that. So probably a darker color like this guy. I think that's a little bit better. So let's do that and let's go back. Okay, so there you go. The color is a little bit better. Next thing we want to do is we want to get rid of that ugly app search. and We want to do the Google icon down here. Now let's jump over to our home screen and you got a whole bunch of settings here and let's go ahead and change some things. So the first thing I like to do is I like to decrease the icon size to about 80%. That's just my style. I like it a little bit smaller, but you know, you do you, whatever you want to do. Let's do, there you go, 80%. And I also like removing the labels because why do I need the labels if they're my applications? I don't need to see the labels. I'm all good on that regard. And let's keep going here, desktop grid. So you can go pretty crazy with this. You can go up to, uh, let's see here, 12 by 12 if you really wanted to. I, that just kind of hurts my eyes. So what I do is I keep it pretty simple and we'll do six by six. I find that that is perfectly fine for what I need this for. So go ahead and hit okay. And when it comes to padding, we're going ahead and do none to none. And the way that this works is if you do increase the padding, it's going to cause to where you can't drag your icons over that padded area. So I like using all my screens. We'll go ahead and get rid of all the padding. So keep it none by none. That I think is the best option. Now, another important thing is gonna be your dock. So let's go ahead and click that. By default, the match desktop size is checked. Let's go ahead and uncheck that so we can do whatever we wanna do with our icons here. Now let's get to the padding because I think this is a very important part. So let's click that. And let's go ahead and uncheck auto. And I'm gonna drag this all the way to the right. And I'm gonna back it up 
two clicks. You see how that kind of clicks right there? One, two, two clicks there. And on the right, on the vertical slider, I'm gonna go ahead and slide that all the way down and then up one notch. That's how I like the dock. Okay, so there you go. Go ahead and keep on going down. Another thing too is that you can go crazy with the app icons. You can add up to 12 on your dock if you'd like. I like to keep it simple. Let's go ahead and choose seven. I feel like that's a good number. Okay, so there you go. And also if you really wanted to, you can increase your dock pages. So like when you have the dock there, you can swipe through on the bottom. But I don't feel like that's needed after we go ahead and talk about the gestures options on Nova Launcher. I really don't think like you need that, but you can do that if you'd like. And so I do that, keep it very simple, seven. And those are my settings for that. And I think that is all I do. Yeah, so we'll keep it there. Oops, let me cancel. And let's go back to the home screen settings and we're good to go. And let's go back to the Nova Launcher settings. Now I did forget one thing. So if you go to your dock here, I like to set this to 100%. And that's because if you drag this way over 100%, on your dock, it's gonna overlap the different icons. So it's gonna look pretty messy. So keep it at 100%. I feel like that's a very good size to do um, for this particular launcher. And let's go back into our settings here and let's talk about the app drawer. So the app drawer, for me, it's fine. It's not beautiful, but it gets the job done. But if you really wanna go into the app drawer settings, you can go ahead and do that. I do prefer it to be a little, oops, let's go ahead and uncheck match desktop size. I do prefer it to be a little bit bigger. So when you go back here, oops, there you go. It's a little bit more like a pixel launcher, just like a stock launcher. So that's the way I'm going to keep it. You can change the color if you really want to. Um, and the, the grid as well. There's a lot of different options that you can do here, but I'm going to keep this all the same. It really is not that important to me. So let's go back here and let's go over to folders. And I know a lot of you guys were asking about my folders. How do I get my folders to look this way? But the first thing you want to do is you want to set your icons to 100%. So go ahead and uncheck match desktop size. And we're gonna drop this guy down to 100%. Oops, there we go. And also I personally do like having the label uh, for this, but you can go ahead and turn that off if you really want to, but I'm gonna just leave it on and we're gonna keep on going here. Now for the colors, I do enjoy keeping a default, but if you're the kind of person who wants a transparent look, all you gotta do, cause you won't see that transparency setting in here so you want to go to colors and then you go down here and you'll see that transparency bar right there so look at the folder right there as i drag this over to the right it becomes transparent so just for this video let's go ahead and keep it transparent because that, that looks pretty cool um, but i normally don't keep mine transparent but for now we'll do it now i keep everything else the same let's go ahead and scroll on down and you'll see folder icon appearance so let's click on that you're going to want to choose radial this is the one that i personally like and make sure it's on round as well. And then you're going to uncheck clip to background and you're going to uncheck outline. Okay, so that's how it looks like that. So we're good to go there. Let's go back to the settings. So that's all I do when it comes to the folders on this phone. So let's go ahead and we already covered search and cards, I do not interact with these, but if you really want to do cards, there's a few different things you can do. I'm not a fan of how Nova implements that, but you might want to dig into this a little bit more and it might work for you, but I'm not going to include that in this video. Let's go to look and feel. This is very, very important. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to icon style. And a lot of people ask me, you know, where are your icons coming from? And in all honesty, all it is, it's the stock icon. I just make them round. That's all I do because I prefer these Samsung stock icons, but when it's default, it's got this little squircle thing going on. I'm not a fan. So I just prefer round and when you get your icons, it almost makes it look like a pixel launcher because they're always going to be circular icons, but they're the Samsung theme. So let's go back into our settings here. And you want to make sure that you have reshape legacy icons on because if you don't, you see how that changes right there and then you should be good to go. I keep everything else the same. And then the show notification bar. So definitely uncheck this. I don't think we need that top row. I wish Samsung Launcher would let you hide that, but you know, it is what it is. Let's go back over here and keep the, and keep everything else the exact same as default. Okay, so now we're back here and this part is so important. If you skipped over every part, this is probably my favorite part of Nova Launcher. Let's go to gestures and inputs. Okay, there are so many things that you can do, but I'm gonna tell you what I use this for, but you don't have to. You can change this to anything you want. I'm just gonna give you some examples 
so that you can mess around with it on your own phone. Okay, so obviously the swipe up, I don't change. Swipe down, I don't change. And the swipe left, let's keep that all the same. Um, so nothing to do there. Here we go, let's start with this. So double tap, always gonna do the screen lock. Now double tap and swipe up. Now I normally use the double tap swipe options as my um, my media consumption. So for example, maybe like HBO Max and then double tap swipe down. How about we make that Amazon Prime or uh, Prime Video? Where's that guy? There we go. Okay. Uh, two finger swipe up. I prefer to use this for my hue lights because I always think like my hue lights are above me. <laughs> so that's how I remember it. So let's go ahead and do our hue lights. Once I find it, there we go. Okay, two finger swipe down. Now I use this for my AccuWeather and I always think of like, I live in Florida, so like the rain coming down. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, pinch in, I enjoy doing my YouTube studio. So let's scroll all the way down here, YouTube studio. Pinch out, I use this for my maps. I'll probably have to blur that when we go into the test, but whatever, go into maps. And then the two finger rotation, I use this for my music. And yes, I do use Apple Music, don't judge me. Uh, my wife is a huge Apple fan, so we have you know all the Apple subscriptions, yay. Um, and let's go to the two finger rotation clockwise. And for this, I am quite a religious person. I do go to church, and so I'd like to use this for my uh, my church stuff. So let's go ahead and hit that. So let's go ahead and test these. Let's go ahead and go home. And I'll just do a few of them. You got the, you know, the prime video there. You got your max. Okay. I've got my music. I've got my church stuff. Okay. What was some other ones? Oh, my AccuWeather. My Hue lights. Okay. I've got my maps. And I have my YouTube studio. And there you go. That is just so incredible. I mean, look how fast you can do these things. Uh, to go through all your options. There is nothing better than these gestures. I think it is a game changer. And it's what keeps me coming back to Nova Launcher. You can mess around a lot with the gestures here. Let's go ahead and go back. And we're gonna go to integration. So this is another important part. And you'll notice this thing called Google Companion. This is very important. So when you go to your homepage and you scroll to the left, normally you would have, and there's a hurricane coming towards me, yay. Normally you'd have your, you know, your Google homepage right here, right? And you don't get that by default, I don't believe. So what you gotta do is go to, let's go ahead and just search it. You can search uh, Nova Launcher Google Companion. If I can type APK. So go ahead and search that. And it's gonna give these uh, options here. You're gonna click on the first one and then scroll down. And then you're going to do download Nova Google Companion. And if you do that, I'll just go ahead and download it again to show you guys. We'll go to open and I'll update it. It will say install for yours if you haven't downloaded it before. Let's go ahead and update. It's gonna be installing and boom. Okay, we're good to go. Okay. So we go to our Nova launcher. Now when you scroll to the left, there you go. You got your Google homepage and it works perfectly just like the stock Google launcher or even Samsung has that option as well on their launcher. So let's go back to the settings. Okay. So we should be good there. There are Sesame shortcuts. I do not use these, so I can't tell you how they are, but if you're into Sesame shortcuts or if you even know what they are, you can investigate that. Let's go back over here and let's go to notification badges. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Now I don't change anything here, but you can change where the notification badges are, which is very useful depending on what your preference is. You can make them large, medium, or small. So that's pretty useful. I normally keep it small and up to the upper right. Let's go back here and let's cover this last piece and that is backup and restore. And this is very important because if you want to customize this home screen, you get everything perfect and you don't want to lose it. Well, you're going to want to back this up. So the way you would do it, is you could back it up to your device. I currently don't have my Google Drive. Oh, I guess I do. Okay, so you can back it up to your Google Drive as well. That's how I normally do it that way. If you know you, you change phones or anything, you can go ahead and download a copy from your Google Drive. Okay, so go ahead and you can save your layout right there. And so if you switch phones or something and you download Nova Launcher, you can do restore backup. You can go back to your Google Drive where you stored that file 
and you can install it onto any other phone. And just for an example, at the end of this, you'll see the layout of the S24 Ultra, but I have my Google Pixel 9 Pro XL here. If I do Nova Launcher, there you go. That's what it's gonna look like. So all I did was I exported the layout here and I saved it onto here via Google Drive. So I've got all the functions I just showed you earlier, my Hue apps, okay, my AccuWeather, all that stuff on this phone. So it saves everything. And there you go. This is how my home screen looks all the time. I'm a big fan of this very simple setup. And you'll also notice that Right here, we did remove our status bar, so I did include a clock widget to show my time, and that is just the simple Google clock widget that you can find on the Play Store right there. And then I have the seven dock layout down below. The one thing I did decide to change was I did make the search bar white transparent instead of the darker color that I chose previously. I just think this looks a little bit better for my eyes. Now going over here to my folders, I have six folders instead of seven. I like that layout with the seven. It doesn't really fit one to one. I think it looks really good like this. And I have my media, my YouTube, my Samsung apps, Google apps, uh, finance apps, and then my socials, okay? And then going on to my next screen, I have my Google Calendar app and I have both of my emails, my YouTube email and my personal email, those widgets right there that make my life a lot easier and that's really it i keep it very very simple i do not complicate things and that is how i personally set up nova launcher on every single android phone that i ever own i hope you all enjoyed it and that i was very clear with each step if you think i did a good job please hit that like button down below and subscribe for more and even consider becoming a member to support the channel thank you all for watching and i will see all of you next time